This is problem number five for section 3.6. This problem says find the derivative of the function y equals 5x plus 2 to the third power times 4x plus 3 to the negative fifth power. We're going to solve this problem by using the product rule combined with the chain rule. Now technically you can take this 4x plus 3 to the negative fifth power and move it to the denominator and just use the quotient rule if you want. But I think it's advantageous sometimes to use the product rule and combine it with the chain. So here's how it's going to work. We're going to label this is the u function and this is the v function. And I'm going to say that u equals 5x plus 2 to the third power. So we're going to go u prime. v is going to equal 4x plus 3 to the negative fifth power. v prime is here. Now notice we're going to have to use the chain rule here and here to find these derivatives. So even if you're using the quotient rule, you could use a chain rule. Uh, you're going to have to use a chain rule regardless. Let's go ahead and use it. Derivative of the outside function here is just 3 5x plus 2 to the second power times the derivative of the inside function is just 5 because 5x plus 2 derivative that'll be 5 and that'll be 0 so 5 times 5 here that's going to equal 15 uh, parentheses 5x plus 2 to the second power so we end up with a derivative down here then we're going to do the outside, negative 5 comes to the front, so we have 4x plus 3 to the negative 6th power times the derivative of the inside, which is just 4. So that'll end up being negative 20, 4x plus 3 to the negative 6. Now we can take this, the, uh, we can take all of these uh, derivatives that we just found, or our two derivatives that we just found, and use the product rule. So we're going to say that dy over dx is equal to, well we want to use u prime v, so u prime times v, so that's 15 5x plus 2 squared, and we're going to take that times 4x plus 3 to the negative 5. We're going to add it with, let's go ahead and take u times v prime now. So that's going to be, we'll go 5x plus 2 to the third times, well that's going to be negative 20, 4x plus 3 to the negative 6. And now we're going to have to use some algebra to move this around a little bit. So let's go ahead and bring this to the denominator here. So we end up with 15, 5x plus 2 to the second power. You know what, let's not bring this to the denominator. Let's go ahead and leave this up here. So we're just going to rewrite this as 4x plus 3 to the negative 5. And then over here we're just going to rearrange this a little bit. So it's when I bring the negative to the front, it's negative 20, and we end up with 5x plus 2 to the third, and then we have 4x plus 3 to the negative 6. So I'm going to factor out 4x plus 3 to the negative 5. So when I factor that out, 4x plus 3 to the negative 5, I'm going to be left with 4 x plus 3 to the negative 5. And I'll have what's left in here, which is 15 times 5x plus 2 squared minus 20 5x plus 2 cubed, oh, cubed, and times with just 1, 4x plus 3 to negative 1. 
So then I can rewrite this as 15, and we end up with 5x plus 2 squared minus 20, 5x plus 2, and then 4x plus 3, so negative 1, and that's all over. I have 4x plus 3 to the fifth power here. Now let's go ahead and take out, let's see here, let's go ahead and I can factor out some more here. This should be to the third power. I'm going to go ahead and factor out this 4x plus 3 to the negative 1. I'm going to factor out of both of these terms. So I'm going to take 4x plus 3 to the negative 1 out of each term. So if I take 4 plus 3, 4 plus 4x plus 3 to the negative 1 out of each thing, that's going to leave me with on top 4x plus 1 to the negative 1. Then I'll have 15 and I'll have 5x plus 2 squared. Then that'll still leave because this term I factored 1 out. That's 4x plus 1. Oop, this should be plus 3. Plus 3 minus 20 5x plus 2 to the third power. And this is all over. So I should put parentheses around this. This is all over 4x plus 3 to the fifth power here. So I can bring another one down here and I end up with, on top I have 15 parentheses 5x plus 2 squared times 4x plus 3 minus 20 5x plus 2 cubed. And that's all over now, 4x plus 3. When I brought that to the bottom, that'll be 4x plus 3 to the 6th power now. So I'm thinking I can factor out a, let's go ahead and factor out 5x plus 2 to the front. And we end up with 5x plus 2. We're going to pull out a squared here. And that'll leave 15 times 4x plus 3 minus 20 times 5x plus 2. And that's still all over 4x plus 3 to the 6. So we end up with 5x plus 2 squared, and then let's distribute the 15. So we end up with 60x plus 45 minus, this will be, let's see, 20 times 5, that's 100, x minus 40, all over 4x plus 3 to the 6th. Let's go ahead and simplify that a little bit by saying that this equals, we can do the 60x minus the 100x, so we end up with 5x plus 2 squared times, this will be negative 40x, and this will be plus 5, all over 4x plus 3 to the 6th. So this is the derivative for our original function, which was y equals 5x plus 2 to the third times 4x plus 3 to the negative 5. Now technically our calculus part concluded, I'm going to kind of mark this off, our calculus part concluded right after we did the initial product rule right there.
right? That was the calculus part. After this, this is just all algebra to get it to a simpler form that's easier to work with.